Job chapter 1, starting at verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence thou comest thou? Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear God for naught? Hast not thou made an hedge about him, and about his house, and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And there was a day when his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them. And the Sabians fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the, hedge of the, sword, with the edge of the sword. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of God is fallen from heaven. Let me read that again. The fire of God is fallen from heaven and hath burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. This is what I wanted to show you guys. The pattern Back here in the oldest book in the Bible, we have the fire of God falling from heaven and destroying things. And then we look in the book of Revelation at the last days. Revelation chapter 13, starting at verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth, and them which dwell therein, to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. Verse 13, And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. I find it very amazing that these books are disconnected by by a long, long time. You could say, I don't know, these stories are disconnected by thousands of years. But we have the same pattern of this fire from heaven uh, falling to the earth. And I really can't help but think of the do weapon, directed energy weapons uh, that the military has. And also connecting that to Hawaii. And what happened over there, fire falling from heaven. And we also have the Illuminati card of the killer satellites. So these are very interesting connections. I just wanted to show you guys this pattern. Ecclesiastes 1.9 and Ecclesiastes 3.15 show us that these patterns in the Bible do repeat themselves.